Welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 21, Harvest. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and we are still playing Archangel's Fall by a few different map makers. V, Fornin, Paradox, and dun, 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 Athena. And we have defeated the very first area, ready to head into the second, although I think I may do some exploration around this little island, considering that we did find some... Uh, shipwrecks and whatnot. Might be able to find some additional gear. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to do that? I'm guessing we're just going to find better gear in the next area anyways, so... We'll, uh, we'll hold off on that. What are you doing up here, Mr. Turtles? You're, you're a f long way from home. That's interesting. Does that mean that this is... What biome is this? Uh, Dark Forest. What are, did the turtles just make their way up here from the ocean, or do they spawn in Dark Forest now for some reason? I want to take your meat, Mr. Cow. Oh, come back. Come back. You're so fast. Come back. He's going to try to swim away. <laughs> Probably won't be very effective. I don't know how well cows swim, though. Okay, I'm not wasting my time with you, gosh dang it. Why am I not sprinting? It's because I was just playing... Minecraft beta where we didn't have sprint. Oh my gosh, yes. I, I, I want to start like a cow farm. Sounds like it could be a smart idea. And those turtles are still stuck over there. I do, I just, I can't help myself. I just want to kind of peek, peek back here and see if there is anything... Of value. Well, that looks kind of interesting. We have magma, magma blocks down there. Is there a range on how far the magma blocks and soul sand work? Because I know the magma pulls you down and the soul sand shoots you back up, I do believe. So somebody was saying that you can still use the torch trick, you just have to spam it really, really quickly. Okay, yep, yep, that'll that'll do it. That'll work. Whoa. Um oh gosh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ooh, okay, that was close. Oh, wait, so your torches disappear whenever you do that? Really? Yeah, I don't know if that really seems worth it. I mean, the other option is to make a door, right? We may want to keep a door on us at all times, just in case we need to use it. Let me let me place my crafting bench, gosh dang it. Or will ladders work? Ladders would actually be the smarter thing to make, I think. Let's give it a shot. Although, no, things are waterlogged now, right? This won't work. Well, how am I supposed to breathe underwater, game? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let's try out a door. Perhaps that will be the trick. Do you still work? Indeed. Okay, it looks like doors might be the way to go, then. That's good to know. We got projectile protection 2 and blast protection 2. An anvil would be nice so that we could put some unbreaking on those, but that will have to wait. Uh, yeah, let's head back around to the next island. I think that's all that there is here. I guess I should probably check up on top 2 though, right? Something tells me this is most likely purely decorative. Oh gosh, I can't see anything. No, there doesn't seem to be a range on it. It's going it's going all the way all the way up to the top. I'm so turned around right now, I have no idea where I am. Maybe we're going the wrong direction. Like I don't think I see anything down there. It's hard to to see though when we're actually underwater. Next area appears to be a forest. 
gosh, I still feel like I'm being sucked down for some reason. Skellies. A lot more natural spawns, it seems. Compared to the previous area. And what is this? What are you? Are you dried coral? Dead coral? Oh gosh, what, 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 what? What are you? Uh, oh, it's turtle eggs. Okay. Oh gosh. What happened? Why did I get green particles? What did I do? I did it again. I don't know what I'm doing. We have to step on it? Is that is that how we... Okay, that's not how you hatch them. I don't know why I would think that, but I was getting green particles thinking I was doing something right. Are the turtles going to attack me for killing their babies? I guess not. Okay, we have a structure over here. You can get the item that you need to make the little turtle shell helmet. Let's so see, there must be something around here, right? From having the turtles hatch, I think. At least that's what one of you told me. I'm not sure if he can actually explode. We do need to get over there and take out their spawner, though. Alright, easy enough, easy enough. You can't see me, Mr. Skeleton. Let's see what's in the chest. I'm feeling a little exposed right now. Blocks and lots of torches. Okay, let's grab all that stuff. And eat some yummy yummy kelp. Alright, what do we have? I see a bridge off in the distance. And then we have this dark forest. I don't see any clear paths. I do see a chest way over there though. So maybe that's where we want to be going. It seems really dark. You know why? It's on Moody. Switching back and forth between the old version and new version, I have to redo my settings each and every time. Which, that shouldn't happen because I have separate files for the older versions and the newer versions. But something weird has been happening with 1.13 where... There are redstone torches where sometimes it opens with the... Um with the file for the old versions, and sometimes it opens with the file for the new versions. I'm not really sure what's causing that. So let's run over here and and grab the chest. I, I'm actually, I'm not sure I like it this bright. I've really been enjoying the, uh, why are you not stacking things? I've been enjoying how dark the Minecraft beta is. We do have a bow now. Oh, no, I, I already made a bow. We need arrows, though. Not just a bow. There's also a gravel path here. With little baby zombies. Do I want to go... Let's go check out the redstone torches, since I saw those first. They will get... Priority. I think I see farmland of some kind. I want to kill all the cows. Having a good supply of steak would be fantastic. More cobble. In fact, we probably want to grab some of the cobble. Simply because I don't have a lot. And we want to be collecting arrows as well. Uh, okay, yeah. Just, just toss you out. And there's another island. And it has this island hopping feel. And for some reason... Do I not have my cobble on me? I think I may have put it up. For some reason, which we should actually go ahead and do with that and that and that and that and that. But uh, yeah, for some reason, the aesthetic is kind of reminding me of... 
I think it's the Orange Wool area in Final Fantasy 2. Which, it really looks nothing like that. Maybe it's just because that second area has that kind of island feel to it. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm being reminded of for some reason. Oh, and you can see the bubbles right here, too. There appears to be like a giant trench. Huh. I wonder if that's supposed to, like, indicate that I'm not supposed to go that direction yet. I don't know. Let's not forget this. <clears throat> that would not be good. That would not be good whatsoever. Bum, ba -da bum, bum, bum. And what was I going to do? I was going to get my blocks back on the bar. Let's head up and see what these torches are all about. I can't wait until I've eaten all this kelp so that I won't feel too guilty about eating all my mushroom stew. These boys are getting annoying. Hmm. Something about this feels a tad suspicious. I'm I'm very skeptical of beds. I don't like the beds. The hunter's guide. Uh, the Hunter's Manual. Many of the pages have been clawed out, presumably by whatever fiend killed the book's owner. However, you can just barely make out the next page. Made from the enchanted steels from the mines on our island, these traps shall protect us in our lady's absence. Throw them on a monster to ensnare them, but either kill it fast or run. The effects are only temporary. I'm guessing they're talking about these blue steel traps. Pure steel trap. I've just never really been a huge fan of offensive, these are kind of useless, but we'll take them, of offensive potions. I don't know. If there were like a whole stack there, I would probably take them. I'm wondering if he came out of water here. Is there a way in? There's a way in. Is there water here? No. Well, let's go ahead and grab the wheat for the bread. Alright, I picked my head over this hill here just to see what we were dealing with. And it looks like the path that we saw earlier actually comes up here. And there's more cows. Which means more beef for us. Stupid tall grass is so annoying. I wonder if the beasts that were referenced in the book are going to be really fast, and that's why the slowness potions are going to be effective against them. Not really sure. So far, this is just regular old zombies. Nothing too crazy here. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is a really long path, though, I must say. Ooh, more bread and a decent sword and a decent pick as well. We have a fork in the road. I think I'm going to go that direction first for some reason. Not sure what that reason is. It just seemed like a good... Way to go. And now we have yet another... Gosh dang it, why are you giving me so many choices, people? Just give me a straight path. <laughs> Tell me to follow it. And that's as, as complicated as it needs to be. It looks like this might be taking us to... This is taking us up. Looks like there might be something up there. That looks really cool, I must say. I like that little trench there. We have a cave. With, ooh, a shield. I am now invincible. Not quite. I'm not sure if we'll need the shield. The tower last episode was, was you know, pretty challenging. So we'll use the shield for now. Um, okay, goodbye, kelp. We do not need you. What do we got? 
These guys look pretty tough. I must say, I want to get a sense of just how tough they are. Werewolf. Yeah, they're they're kind of tough. Oh, what? Who? Well, you're gonna drop drop your sword. Let's get out of range of the spawner. That would be a good idea. How are we still within range of that spawner? Oh man, I was really hoping they would spawn. Okay, well, let's get to it then, shall we? We got really, really fast guys, really, really slow guys. Oh gosh. And we got coal. It looks like these this might be the mines that were referenced in the book. Let's go and eat some stew. And get Mr. Creeper to explode. I don't know what you are. But I'm just going to keep running. Oh gosh. Okay, we're going to run this way then. Yes, I like you. You guys are slow. Oh gosh, I don't like you. You guys are fast. Um, let's just do that. Shall we? Sounds good to me. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so that they can't they can't hit me. It looks like it goes down quite a ways. Moonlight adds. Uh, efficiency two on breaking one. That's pretty good. And more of this stuff. I guess I guess we can try it out. Uh, nope, give me that, please. We should be oh, I was just about to jump down there, guy. That's not cool. There's a number of chests around. It looks like it might also go off in that direction. But then it goes down quite a ways. Let's see if we can get a better look at things. It does continue on there. Um, okay. Well, let's try... So far, I don't think I've seen many archers. Or any archers, for that matter. And if that's the case, then we can safely grab a lot of these chests simply by, by blocking up Ooh, some arrows. And we'll just go ahead and replace those guys. Yeah, I'm fairly certain there was another chest over in that direction. But I'm thinking it might kind of wrap around here. I'm not entirely sure where I saw that other chest. Oh, well. Well, that was a terrible decision on my part. Although they should have a longer time on theirs. So let's let's run. And dodge. Uh, nope. Uh, let's break through. Stay away from Mr. Creeper. If that is at all possible. Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Everything is sturdy. You go away. You go there. Let's see here. Projectile protection, too. I mean, the projectile protection doesn't seem all that helpful. Considering that we don't have any skellies to deal with. Oh, man. There's, there's so many of you guys. So many of you. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Um. Oh gosh, that was not good, not good, not good, not good. Okay, I think that's the objective right there. Let's uh, make sure we don't dig, dig out to them, though. I think it is, although... I guess all of them are going to be in the courts. Okay. Ooh, that was fun. I liked this area a lot. 
Uh, let's go ahead and stick you up. We're just going to take one for now. And let's go ahead and put you away. Let's see here. Can we do this? Where are they? I think they're down below, to be honest. Uh, let's get blocks on the bar. I think we should be okay here. Most of them are down below. Ooh, okay. Zombies could not get to us. Oh, oh. There's a skelly out of nowhere. Skelly came out of nowhere. Alright, there's that other chest that I saw. It seems so very calm right now. Let's go ahead and exchange these guys. And do something like that. And we gotta make our way back up. I actually think going up right here is the path we were supposed to take. That might not be a bad decision. I don't like you, you scare me. We may also find another chest. Yep, everybody come over here, please. Come on, people. Oh, why are you guys waiting right there? You're so smart. So very smart. Yep. Let's light it up. Oh gosh, let me up, let me up, let me up. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Projectile protection 2. I got so much stuff. It's not even funny. Wooden hammer. Let's go ahead and grab that guy and the arrows as well. I don't think we need to worry about the slowness potions. Woo! I love the I love really fast mobs for some reason. Not sure why. But I do. Oh, where are you taking me? This is interesting. I wasn't expecting there to be like a whole other path right here. Are we exactly? I should really have that axe on my bar. Alright, let's go ahead and take you out. Oh, he dropped his chest piece. Interesting. Gonna do that. Last protection four. Wow. Okay, I think I want to put these protection two pants on. And let's go ahead and maybe use Mr. Creeper to our advantage here. Alright. Of course you spawn right now, huh, guy? I'll just go and do that. Um, ooh, they hit hard. Just a crappy bow. All right. Whew, that was that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that area. Trying to dodge all the mobs and whatnot. I guess this is an alternative path into the dungeon is what's going on. That's a pretty cool idea, actually. Overall, I think the, the layout of the dungeons and just the map in general is absolutely superb. I had a sneaking suspicion that the previous area was done by Fornan just because of the layout. And it turns out that I was correct about that. Outlaw's Axe. Oh man, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to start making some decisions here. But for now, we will simply 
do that. What do I want? Sharpness. Or I think I want this. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. But I, I always enjoyed uh, the layout of Fornan's maps. <clears throat> I think he does a fantastic job. With that, lots of narrow walkways and just interestingly designed things. A fragment of obsidian that could be used to reconstruct the portal to the Hell Vault, but who would dare do such a thing? Okay. Let us get rid of that, since I don't think we're going to be needing the leather anytime soon. I will take the flint. And ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. we need blocks. But that will have to wait for next episode. All right, you guys, I think that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.